the way society is going and the way people are protecting their peace, I believe that this type of question will be asked often. This is not going to be the first nor the last. This person says, my father was awful. Do I have to plan his funeral? Let's get into this article. Here we go. A reader asked, after a child has been shuttling between divorced parents, my relationship with my father, whom I never lived full time, became rote and dreaded as I matured into adulthood. Not only did I recognize he was deep, was a deeply unhappy person with addiction issues, which occasionally placed me in danger, I was always bothered by his racist, misogynistic, and homophobic jokes. These and other behaviors became intolerable to me as I entered my 20s, and I distanced myself until firmly cutting off all contact about five years ago. I do not miss him and have never regretted that choice. Moreover, and maybe this marks me as a cold individual, I no longer have contact with his side of the family. We were never close and shared no warmth. My father's sibling, however, died recently, and while I have no concerns that I was unable to say goodbye to them, I have found myself wondering what I will do and feel when my elderly father passes. I don't even know who would arrange his funeral, etc. Ethically speaking, what do I owe a parent whom I have no contact with, do not respect, and never want to see again? Jeez. I have spoken many times about pouring into people who have poured into you. From my perspective, you do not owe anybody anything. Just being born, simply being born, is not reason to have to take on the responsibility that goes along with c keeping connected to a person that is toxic. Someone who, by this person's um, words, is racist, misogynistic, and homophobic is not a valuable person. In my, in my opinion, um, I wouldn't be around a person like that. I don't care if it's by blood or what. Um, I wouldn't be around that person. So I would suggest that maybe this reader sends a letter or some something, a, a carrier pigeon, to deliver a message that daddy better have some long-term care and have his wishes already laid out and ready to go because he needs to know and his family should know that you have no intention on um, helping. I would also block them on everything. So there's no chance that they can contact you as far as, you know, when when time does come to make arrangements. But that's me. I don't believe that people have to do anything, especially for a toxic person. But you guys go ahead and weigh in. Tell me what you think. What would you tell this reader?